We're out here in the state capital of Nevada, Carson City at the old Nevada State Prison. What the f What the fuck was that, Laura? Somebody was murdered right here. Is anybody in here? Did you hear that? Whoa, whoa, what the f whoa. Let me know when to stop, make it clear. Is there anyone in here that would like to communicate? <gasps> the cat ball's going off. Oh, fuck. Oh. oh. <laughs> what? My name is Caleb and with me is <laughs> What? It looks like a person standing on there. The old Nevada State Prison is located in Carson City, Nevada. The prison was used from 1862 until 2012, a period of 150 years. Caleb and Laura came here to find out if the inmates who once were incarcerated in these walls never left their cells. There have been riots, murders, prison escapes, executions, and even a casino. The first use of a gas chamber for an execution in the United States took place at this prison. The gas chamber was used for 55 years and 32 men were executed inside. All right, we're at the old Nevada State Prison in Carson City, Nevada. We're just gonna get right to work. We got all the equipment right here. Let's just grab some gear, head into the culinary and see if we can talk to someone. All right, here's the culinary. The you wanna put music box at the entrance of the kitchen area over there? While you set that up, I'm gonna set up REM pod on one of these chairs. Let's put one. So that's calibration for the music box. All right, so we got REM pod on this chair right here. Music box set up over there at the entrance. The one on this side. Let's see if we can get somebody to respond to us. They're known just to talk to you, not even interact with the devices. Is anybody in this culinary space with us? Is this where you used to eat your dinner and lunch? Can you make one of these devices go off that we just set up? Tapping noises over there. There's like no breeze in this whole facility. When we took a tour before, we just made note that there's, it's so still in here. There's, there's like glass and plexiglass covering the bars. So there is no breeze in here. So any movement or noise, it's very, I don't want to say unexplained, but like that. So yeah. That was loud. Are you behind me? Can you walk around this culinary space so we can hear you walk around? Do you want to come get some food? There's a motorcycle outside, but there was a loud bang over there. Yeah. Two loud bangs. Yeah. I'm gonna go over there. You wanna stay here? Or can you walk in front of me and set this device off in front of me? If you walk in front of it, it'll go off just like that. Can you do what I just did, please? What the hell? That's really loud. What the f Is there something out there? Is there anything like touching this? I don't think so. It was by that door, so it could be outside. Let me go check it out. Where do you think it was, over here? Yeah, I wonder if it's like 
It, it definitely sounded like it was over there, but I wonder if it was like that door moving with the wind or something. Let me make sure it's secure. Yeah, it's secure. I'm just going to stand here and see if I can pinpoint where that's coming from. Yeah. Can you walk over here again if that was you? Make that loud noise again. Upstairs seems to be a lot more active. And there's like a death row and where the cells were. I imagine that's where a lot of people spent most of their time was actually up in their cells and especially solitary confinement. We're gonna make our way down here to where the cells are. Just facing down here. Let's just see if we can get someone to walk down this hallway. Can you please step away from that music box? It's just a bad spot. Unless they're walking down the hallway. Okay. There's the music box down this way. So that's calibration for the music box. Okay. Facing Got the here. rim pad set up down here. Whoa, whoa, we got music box. Hold on. You're walking outside this cell? Yeah. Whoa. Thank you if that's you walking outside this cell. Yeah. Can you please step away for a moment so I can validate that's you? Yeah. I just set up this little red circle outside the shower. If anyone would like to talk to me, you can do so by tapping on that device. You hear that metal? Yeah. It's like metal clinging. Can you walk around so we can hear your footsteps? Can you run down the hallway? What the f was that, Laura? That was like... That was like boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Almost like when you drop a ball and it's like... Da -da 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 -da. Where'd that come from? Down there? I thought it was like... Down this way. You did? Yeah. Doesn't that sound like it's behind you? Like the, um. No, the house just down there. I think I did hear a bang. Whoa, what was that? I think that's coming down by you. That one did sound like it was down here. We're gonna go upstairs one floor if you wanna follow us. You wanna put a REM pod on the stairs maybe? Sure. REM pod is set. Is there anyone that would like to join us by coming downstairs? Somebody was murdered right here. Let's see if we can see if they're still there. Right now it's not going off and it's calibrated. If you're still here, can you please walk in front of this box I just set up? Then I know you're with me. You'll we'll just play a little music and light up. I want to talk to you, please. I don't really feel anything right now. No. It's very like calm, which is kind of surprising. What is this? Oh, this is their nameplates. Oh. See that? Yeah. 
And then they like just paint it over it. I wish the names were still there so then we can know who to go address. Oh, this is solitary confinement, Laura. Oh. This is where they... Is anybody in number five? It'd be pitch dark in here. I'm gonna close the door and show them what it was like. So, so solitary confinement. There's no windows whatsoever. And it'd be like this, so it closes. Little light coming up here, but then. Is anybody in here? Nobody in five. Unless you can prove me wrong. You hear that? Is there someone on the stairs? This was the food they would have to eat. Mixed everything together, placed in an ungreased. Oh, well, we just heard noise in there. <laughs> Mix everything together, place an ungreased bread pan, bake. I hear something down here. Is anybody down here? I'm hearing noises down here. You want me to join you? Yeah. Somebody back in these cells here? I just put some motion sensitive little toy cat balls out in the middle of the room there. But if you go and move one of those, they'll light up. Whoa, that was a loud bang. That was like a boom, boom. That's too weird. It did sound like a footstep. Are you walking over to come join us? Did you hear that? That was loud. Look at the music box. Okay. Do we have? That's not like talking. Yeah. Let's go to death row. Spice things up right off the bat. Cause so far, maybe some footsteps could be outside. It's hard to say. So this is the woman's ward. Seems a little bit darker over here. Should we see if anything's here? Okay, let's put the music box there. I'm gonna step in here. Let's go music box. Facing down here. Can somebody walk towards me, please? I wanna hear you, please. Thank you. Can you please come a little closer and stand in front of this box? If you stand in front of it, it'll keep playing and I know you're right in front of me. Here's anybody, what the? They're coming closer. If I ask you questions, can you set that box off if the answer is yes? 
Laura, that's crazy. That was like a that yes. Was, yeah, that was really that good. That was just one little blip. Thank you. Were you an inmate? Are you a female? Just weird how it's going in blips. Yeah. Are you 20 years old? Like in your 20s? Are you in your 30s? Just confirming you're in your 30s. Yes? Was that you that just made that noise? I said ooh. Okay. Yeah, you too? Thank you. Let me just ask this. Are you in your 40s? That's kind of weird. Yeah. Can you come in this room with me? In this cell? A12? Is anybody in A12 with me? Can you make a noise in here if you are? Do you want to try a device in there? Yeah. Uh, what do you got, Rempod? You want to lay it on the bed? Are you still out there? It's been quiet for a bit. Yep. Okay, can you please come join me in cell A12? And if that is you, can you please come sit on the bottom bunk bed? And there's a red light. If you sit there and make that device go off, we can confirm it is you that we are communicating with. It's getting cold in here. You hear all that noise out there? Rustling. Coming upstairs if you're up here. Is anybody up here that wants to communicate with us? What's that? Do you hear a little something? I thought I heard like a little. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. You probably need our light panels now. Yeah. So right now we're going to death row. It is super, it's a lot darker up here. We're just here to visit you. Is anybody up here? My name is Caleb and with me is Laura. Can you please say your name? Mel meter with REM activated over here. REM pod set up over here. Two cat balls set up on these jail cells, the bars. Then we got music box shooting all the way down this hallway. Is anybody up here near death row? We have all these devices set up. Can you please make one of them go off so we can know that you're with us? Heard something down this way. Somebody walking down the hallway to set off the music box? That's loud, Laura. Do you just hear it? It was like. <sighs> you thought it was a voice. Like breathing. Are you at the end of the hallway? Did Laura just hear you? Can we hear your voice? What is your name? Can you please come down here? Come to the sound of my voice. While we move on again, we're not having any luck. 
Yeah. Whoa, whoa, what the whoa. F That's going off like crazy. Just as you say that. You trying to prove that you're here with us? That's like touching it. Yeah. I got goosebumps. I've never seen it go off that much. Whoa. If that's you. Out of nowhere, too. Yeah. Because it was quiet for so long. If that's you, can you please step away from that device you're making going off? I've never seen it through the hat. That's weird. That's like a strong energy right there. It's all over the place. Should I zero it out just to prove? Because if it's there, when it leaves, it should go off again. It was like getting louder. Do you want, I'm gonna reset this, okay? Okay, so that zeroed it out. Shut Immediately up. Immediately, just right back. If that's you communicating with us through the REM pod, can you make any of these other devices go off? Just so we or, can. Just so yeah. we can really see and hear that you're here. We'll back away so you can walk out there. Like, maybe tap these bars so we can see these cat balls light up. I've never seen it go that crazy. No, that's really nuts. I'm gonna zero it out one more time. I thought it was gonna stop right as I said it. What? And if there was already something here, it would have gone off immediately. If there was some interference yeah. already here, I'm gonna zero it out a fourth time. If you're still here, shut up. Just a little bit. Yeah. It... Not a little bit. Oh my God. Thank you for showing us that you're here. Can you show us in some other way that, that it's you? Or if we, can I ask you questions and only tap if the answer is yes? Did you used to live at this prison? Okay, that's a yes. Please step away. Were you an inmate here? Amazing. Please step away again. Do you want me to zero it out a fifth time? This is bonkers. Uh, if that's you, I'm gonna move this. And I want you to come over here on this chair, if this is you. Zero it out. Right now it's not going. Can you please now just take a couple steps and make that go off again if that was you? Nobody set off the music box since. Or these cat balls. I wonder if just by hitting this, I can make this go off. It has to be pretty forceful. That's shaking and it's still not going off. You see that moving? Yeah. So even when that does light up, that shows how much... It's on, right? Yeah? Yeah. Or can you set off the device in front of me, facing down this hallway? All right, I think we're gonna move on to uh, the infamous Mr. Cole cell, just next door. Ooh, I just got a lot of chills coming in here. Yeah. Fortunately, we can't go in there, but this is where a lot of people spent their last moments. You can see the wall of people who were on death row. All these people died in this prison. Whether it was hanging, 
firing squad, cyanide, gas chamber. This was the very first execution in 1903. It sounded like a little girl screaming. What's that? So we got a music box set up here, calibrated facing down this. Right now we're by the gas chamber. I'm just gonna turn on spirit box and see if we can get any voices and find out who's here. Is John Hancock here? If I point to you, let me know it's you. Is this you? What's your name? That was more than a couple sweeps. Is that Jesus Christ? Bring me back. Is that what he said? That's what I, I thought I heard. Did you die in this gas chamber? Bring me back. Let me know when to stop. Make it clear. Mr. Cole still here? If Mr. Cole, if you're in this room with us right now, can you please go up to this ball right here and tap it and it'll light up. Can you say your name? This guy was really weird. <laughs> Do you want us to leave or stay here? Should we go to Mr. Cole's room? Yeah. Cole. Cool. I think we should do Astis in there. It's you. So this is Mr. Cole's room. Hello, Mr. Cole. Are you in here? Is this where you stayed? That's disgusting. Do you wanna try us this? Sure. So we're in Mr. Cole's room. We're gonna do a uh, Estes method. The spirit box. See if we can get some answers. All right, so we're gonna do Estes method in near where Mr. Cole was. He seems to be an active spirit here. That's why we keep calling him out. Mr. Cole, are you still here with us? Is there anyone in here that would like to communicate? Oh, the cat ball's going off. Mr. Cole, is that you setting off the cat ball? I couldn't make out what that said. Phillips? Is your name Philip? Can you tell me who I'm speaking to? You? Yeah, you're speaking to me. Can you tell me what your name is? My name is Laura. Sitting on the bed here is Caleb. Do you like talking to Caleb? Shh. 
Sure. Can you tell him what your name is? I'll give you some space. I'll come out here. Is there anything you want to tell Caleb? A year? All right. How are you? I'm out here. Holy f I moved out here to give some space in case. Anything? Nothing really made sense, but we did get the cat ball going off. Donnie, did you hear that? Yeah. Positive, encouraging Caleb. Is that my name? Positive, encouraging Caleb. That's what it sounded like, didn't it? Definitely a lot of radio. Yeah. I think being in the, the city and it's more radio than usual, but. Yeah. I think a little bit of it made sense, but not, uh, nothing. Nothing too, noteworthy. Too surprising. As the sun began to set, we decided to do night vision only, but we found this very difficult due to no ambient light or electricity on property, so there was nothing to aid our vision in the pitch darkness. All right, now that it's pitch dark, it's past 9 p.m., we're gonna make our way back into the prison and see if we can spice up a little more activity. It's been a little more quiet than usual or than we would like, I would say, but so we're gonna make our way up there and to spice things off, we're just gonna go right into night. Right into night vision. So let's head in towards the prison. I don't think I said this earlier, but I'll make it known that Laura and I are the only ones here. Nobody's locked in this abandoned prison with us. It's funny, there's actually an active prison just next door, a real prison. Like, I don't know if you can see the fence. Can you see it up can, there? Yeah, a little bit, yep. So that's the active prison right there. That's a real prison. And we, we couldn't wear blue jeans because that's our uniform next door. The, the real inmates, the real inmates wear blue jeans as a uniform. So we had to wear something different color so they could differentiate us. All right, lights out, we're going night vision. Let's do it. Whoa, <laughs> it's already really it's hard to pitch see. Dark. And I mean, like we're still, there's a little light outside, but like down here. You can see how dark it is. Yeah. yeah. All right, we are officially lights out. We're using these, as I say every time, these little two-inch screens as our eyes. Right now, we're still kind of outside of the prison. We're gonna head back into the culinary area and do a walkthrough of the whole facility. A little more spookier vibe. Yeah, Now that, sure. you know, it's dark, but you can see the sun is still up a little bit way over there, but it is most certainly dark out here. It's hard to see without a light. So right now, we're making our way down to the culinary. I'm afraid one of us is gonna fall and eat crap eventually because there's so many tripping hazards yeah between the door okay yeah so so this oh, is pitch God. dark yeah I can't. all right here we go we, yeah just i can't like... even see the damn door <laughs> oh oh not only that i there's a glow from the light uh -huh. i saw my face reflecting oh, this window i saw just a face <laughs> looking that's funny. All right, good start. Here we go. I was wondering because I was like, that seemed like more than just. Oh god, do you have your phone on you just in case we need a light? No. I don't either. We don't have any flashlights or anything. Uh, do you want to grab something? Or no? Yeah, just for an emergency. <laughs> All, All right. right. Cause it's so dark for an emergency. We'll grab the light panel. I'd rather be safe than sorry. What the? F do you hear that already? I yeah. But is that a critter? Is that a critter? I don't know. It's like it was running after me though. Is that my shadow? Yeah, that's my shadow right on the wall there. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. It's a little creepier than I thought it would be. <laughs> it Have you is, done it this is. pitch dark thing before? I think it's just so, so big so and there's so impressive. many. I mean, all, every, I say it every time. It's just like all the little hallways, nooks and crannies. But here, we don't even really know our way around because no. it's just so massive. Like we don't, we fully don't know where we're going. No, we don't. All right, let's do it. <laughs> all right. All right. Nice and slow. You want me to close the door behind? Us? Yeah. So again, we're in the culinary. Get the door. Just listen how quiet. Okay, here we go. Yeah. 
keep kind of chill. Yeah, so we can't see any of this in front of us. There's like no wind, there's a couple windows, but there's no ambient light because there's no power on property. So there's no ambient light coming in here besides like the moonlight. Which like barely, because all the windows are like covered in these plastic glass, sheets yeah. or glass, yeah. Is anybody in this room with us right now? In the culinary? Can you say something? You just set up this device here, this black box. If you walk in front of it, it plays music as you just heard. I did think I heard something behind me though. Like a little shuffle. Is there someone trying to join us? Over on this side of the room? Is there anyone that wants to walk in here and join us? <laughs> what? Uh, uh, I don't know if there's a bug or something. I felt something like, uh, felt something like crawling on me. I think it's, it's probably a bug. It's probably a bug. I don't see anything more. Well, like in my, like in my shirt, I felt like there was a bug. Do you still feel it? Or maybe like, no. Maybe like a hair or something. I don't know. It fully felt like something was like ooh, down my back. Was it? Was it a person? I I don't know. It felt like. I was watching you the whole time. I don't know. It felt like a little bug if or that, something. If that was you, make the device go off that Laura just set up. Please check my shirt. I feel like there might be a bug. I can't. I can't see. Well, like, like actually. I don't feel anything. No, Laura. I don't see any bugs. Ooh, I don't like it. I don't like it. I feel like it really was a bug. There's but... no bug. <sighs> There's no bug. We would still hear it. And I don't feel anything. All right, so no luck in the culinary. My name is Caleb and with me is- ah, What? Oh, <laughs> oh, it was me, it was me. I saw, oh I, there's a mirror here and there's just enough light, like from the little tiny- Oh, you saw a face? Screen. I saw my, <laughs> I hope, my face. Oh my God, we're like, scaring each other, we're scaring ourselves. In the creepiest, in the creepiest- Creepiest face, right? Yeah. Because it's just like, like I said, there, there's only the tiniest bit of dim light just enough so my eyes could see the outline of a face. Hello? Is anybody in here? I can not lie, this is probably the most creeped out I've been with night vision. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you said, there's, it's so dark in here. And usually, sometimes we have ambient light, but this is, uh, this, there is no ambient light. Just because there's no power. Like, I, I also just, usually, if you're in like a house or a smaller building, you kind of know where you're going Yeah, a yeah, yeah. But this is endless scary. halls and these cells. And I just feel like I don't know where the, like, where I am. We didn't even, on our tour, go through all of the floors in here. Can you walk around so we can hear you? like so still in here too. I know. Like There's no feels, breeze or anything. And it feels so like stuffy. It's like, I don't know how to, it's like suffocating. If I ask you questions, can you answer with the REM pod? If the answer is yes, just tap that light. Yeah, just like that. Fuck. It's like a really loud tap. Is there anyone here? I keep hearing stuff like, like so no close bangers. to us too. Is 
Is anybody upstairs? Hello? All right, making our way to the throw. Is there something on the ground over there? Like a... Yeah, it looks Whoa. like... What? You just hear a noise down there? Do you see something on the ground over here? I think so, oh, yeah. I couldn't tell... Um, I, I didn't hear that noise, though. I was... I was talking. What is this? Oh, it's just like a door stuff. Maybe it's a sign to go in there. Is this where we had that spirit box? I the, think so. Or the music box? I think so. Y yeah, what? 812. 812. Yeah, yeah, I think Oh, weird. Is... Can you come in this room with me? In this cell? 812? It's like completely different in the dark. For sure. This is the floor. I think we need to watch out for stuff on the ground the most. This is gonna be like a maze to try and get ourselves back out of here. Look at that hallway, you can barely see the end. All right, look at that long hallway. Oh. What? I saw something blinking down there. Blinking? Like a, a, like a light blinking. Close this what door. Is that? Oh, that's you, okay. What is that light? Where? At the end of the hallway, do you see that? It's Let's like see. a little white light. I don't see anything. Let me look on yours. You oh, that might be a dead pixel. No, because it moves and changes. I don't see it on mine. Wait, let me get your eye level. Oh, shit, there it is. Yeah. Is out, it might be out the window. Oh, this is where that... Can you see with your own eyes? I can't see. This is where our tour guide says she usually sees it's like a figure or something. It's a little weird. If you're at the end of that hallway, can you move around? Just walk across the hallway. Do you wanna to walk to it? It's gotta be outside, like a... This hallway is so long. What is that? Let's go down by it. Okay. Oh, I see it now too. It must be out. It's a ball glowing down there. Yeah, whoa. Oh, it's really hard to, it's really hard to make out what the heck that is. Okay. If you're at the end of the hallway, can you walk in front of the window? Is that our light? Oh, our reflection? Let me turn. I don't think so. If I go like this. Okay. I don't think it is. No, I don't think it is either. Let's what go down hell? by. Okay. Wait. What? It looks like a person standing down there. What? Oh my god. Doesn't it? Oh, is it the door? Is it the cell? I think it's the door. Okay. Turn your light away and look at this. Watch what I see. Turn your light away. Look at that. Yeah, it, it looks does. like a f***ing silhouette. It does. My pants for a moment. <laughs> like, it looks like a f***ing white figure just standing there. Yeah. With only one light, just saw a white figure standing in the yeah. hallway. I was like, yeah. We'll go. Let's go to the, where the chamber is, the gas chamber. It's like we're playing Slender Man or something. Like yeah. A, it's like a oh. video game. Don't tell me that because that actually scares me a little bit. <laughs> What, what? I thought I heard something at the end of the hallway. Did you? Is there someone walking in to join us? You see that whistle? You heard a whistle? I think so. I thought I heard more what's up. I heard that. I heard that. Mr. Cole, is that you trying to talk to us right now? Check that out there. 
Yeah, let's go down there. What, Laura? Oh, I literally thought I heard like something at the door or like... Like right in front of you? Yeah, like... What'd you hear? Like, let me see if I can like recreate it. It almost just sounded like a little like... Maybe that's not the sound. Can you make that noise again if that was you? Like it, it sounded like a little like, like latch. Is anybody up here with us? That was back there. Mm -hmm. So this is where the gas chamber is. Is anybody in the gas chamber room? Thought I maybe heard some like knocking or something. Where'd you hear it from? It sounded like it, maybe in that back corner or like the corner by like by your side of the gas chamber. Can I hear you? What is your name? If I knock, can you knock back? Find something to knock on. We maybe had a couple weird things, but I'm feeling like there's a lot of energy. Yeah, at least for our experience. We're not saying it's not haunted or anything like that. Just, just a couple noises here and there. Yeah, maybe devices. some, maybe a little bit of devices, but it, it doesn't feel like really validated by no. anything. 